So let's study some modern practice questions on Sharia Tantra. Rule of nine is related to option A fracture, burn, hernia, head injury. So as you know, rule of nine is related to births. Rule of nine is a tool used by emergency and trauma medicine providers to assess the total body surface area, that is TBSA of burn patient. It is also known as Bellet's rule of nine. So this is the picture representing the rule of nine. Spread of prostatic cancer is common to which part? Brain, lungs, pancreas, lumbar spine. Answer is option D, lumbar spine. Prostate cancer often spreads to the spine with 90% metastasis involving the spine. A homogeneous and painless testicular tumor with histologically large cell in lobule with clear cytoplasm, fried egg appearance, teratoma, choriocarcinoma, latex cell tumor or seminoma. Answer is option B, seminoma, so fried egg appearance. Seminoma are a type of germ cell testicular tumor that have a fried egg appearance. And these tumor have a large dark nuclei as in the picture with a prominent nucleolus and clear cytoplasm. They grow as sheets of cell separated by fibrous brand and lymphocytes are often visible in the fibrous brand. So this is fried egg appearance seminoma. Testicular torsion typically present as a bag of worms, peel of scrotum, swelling of scrotum and fever, sudden pain in the scrotum and an absent cremastic to the flex, painless transfunder, testicular muscle. So what is a testicular torsion? This is a sudden pain in the scrotum and an absent cremastic reflex. So what is testicular torsion? This is a medical emergency that occurs when the spermatic cord twists. So this is the normal one and this is the pain. This is the torsion where the spermatic cord is twisted and the testicle is with reduced blood flow. Why? This twist cut off blood supply to the testicle. It can happen to anyone but this is most common in twins between age of 12 and 18. Varicose mostly appear on that side, right, left, anteriorly both. So this mostly appear on the left side. Varicocel is a common condition where the veins in the scrotum become abnormally dilated. So this is the normal view, whereas here we can see most of the veins are dilated. In men, a varicocel is an abnormal enlargement of the pampiniform venous plexus in the scrotum. Priapism. Inability to avoid bladder or painful erectation lasting more than four hours. Abnormal curvature of penis is due to a dilates uh, testicular duct. So, the priapism is a painful erection lasting more than four hours. So, what is the condition? Here, the penis remains erect for hours without any stimulation or after the stimulation has ended also, the penis is in erect position. This is usually painful and can last more than four hours. Area of the prostate typically affected by malignancy, posterior and peripheral region. The peripheral zone extends posterolaterally around the gland from the apex to the base and can represent the most common site in prostate for developing the prostate passing over. Now, most common congenital male reproductive disorder is a cryptorganism, py py pyronis disease, testicular torsion, hydroxy. The answer is crypto cryptorchidism. What is cryptorchidism? This is also known as an undescended testis, where the failure of one or both testis to descend into the scrotum occur. Are testicular tumors usually biopsy? Option A, yes. B, no. C, sometimes. D, depends on the condition. The answer is no. Doctors typically do not biopsy testicular tumor because of the risk of the spreading the cancer cell. In most cases, the only way to examine a testicular lump is removing the entire affected testicle. This is because a combination of ultrasound and blood marker test is usually enough to make a diagnosis. Now, positive agent of condyloma acuminator. 
it is human papilloma virus, HPV. HPV is a double-stranded DNA virus that is primarily spread through sexual conduct. The most common strain of HPV that cause CE, that is a condyloma accumulator, are 6 and 11. There is a factor for developing germ cell tumors are Klinefelter syndrome, cryptorganism, hypospadia, epispadia, or chitis hydrocyl varicocin. Answer is option A, plain filter syndrome and cryptorganism. The risk factor for developing the germ cell tumor, some risk factors are cryptorganism, Turner syndrome, in the six conditions such as androgen insensitivity syndrome and plain filter syndrome. Grading system for prostatic carcinoma. This is founded by Gleason. So, Gleason. The Gleason grading system is the most common way to grade the prostatic cancer. So here there is a uh, spelling mistake. Actually, it is G L E A. Okay, Gleason grading system. This is developed by Dr. Donald Gleason in 1966 for grading the prostatic cancer. Hypospadia. That is the opening of the urethra on the ventral surface of the penis. So, what is hypospadia and the epispadia? Are both birth defect of the urethra that can affect boys and girls, but more common in boys. So, hypo, you know, is below. Epi means echo. And this padia means a slit or opening. So, dorsal is an anatomical term that refers to upper or posterior side of the organ structure or body. So, dorsal means upper. Hypospadia. Urethral opening is on the ventral surface. So, ventral means it is the below. Uh, Epispadia refer to the urethral opening on the dorsal surface. So, dorsal surface means upper or the posterior side. Most common type of thyroid carcinoma is papillary carcinoma. So, papillary thyroid carcinoma is the most common type of thyroid cancer accounting 79%. Not a typical for Graves disease, hyperplasia, chronical irregular shape follicles, scalloping of colloid, extensive infiltration, and there is extensive infiltration. So, Graves disease is an autoimmune disease that causes the thyroid gland to produce too many thyroid hormones. So, that is the hyperthyroidism. Common symptom is exophthalmos, non fitting edema, extreme thyroid hyperplasia with tall cells, small follicles, candy scallop, colloid. Now, these are four types of thyroid cancer and which has the worst prognosis. So, anaplastic has very poor prognosis than medullary, than follicular papillary. So, papillary thyroid cancer has the best prognosis and most favorable outcome. And this is a common thyroid carcinoma and tend to respond well to treatment. Whereas, anaplastic thyroid cancer has very poor prognosis and is one of the most aggressive cancer. Now, an 18-year-old female present with a painless 1 cm mass in the anterior neck region. Biopsy revealed fluid contained within the pseudo-stratified columnar epithelium. What is the diagnosis? It is a thyroglossal duct cyst. So, what is the thyroglossal duct cyst? It is a fluid film in the front of the neck. And this is a congenital defect that can appear after the thyroid gland forms during the embryonic development. Kehr's son. This is related to spleen. So, what is it? It is traditionally be described as pain referred to the left shoulder on gentle palpation of the abdomen when the patient is lying down with the legs elevated. It is classically associated with the splenic rupture. Length of the appendix. The average length of the appendix is 8 to 10 centimeters or option is 7 to 10 centimeter with an average length of 4.5, 4 to 5, 4.5 centimeter in neonate. 9.5 cm in adult. So, what is an appendix? This is a bone like extension of the cecum and is usually located at the lower right side of the abdomen. Dash person of appendicular masses to saw with a metronidazole and careful monitoring 80%. So, metronidazole is among the most effective drug against the anaerobic organism and has been widely used either parenterally or intravertically in appendicitis. Partial thickness bonds usually take dash days to keep, almost 10 days. So, you know, first degree bonds are the partial thickness and full thickness. 
first degree burns also for the superficial burn, usually for heat on their own within a week. They are painful, dry, red, and blanch when pressed. First degree burn do not form a blister and generally heal in three to six days without any scarring. But partial thickness burns also for the second degree burn typically heal within seven to twenty one days. Full thickness burns can take four weeks to heal unless they are very really strong. They can heal only at the edges by scarring without the skin crack. So full thickness burn typically takes how many weeks to heal by scar formation? It is four weeks. Regarding the plasma loss in birth, the correct statement is plasma loss ceases approximately 48 hours after a birth. So plasma loss in birth occur when the post-traumatic changes release systemic effect causing the microvascular integrity to be lost. And this result in a plasma-like fluid leaking into the interstitial space, producing edema. As a thumb row, administering intravenous fluid replacement is done after dash and of body surface is burned. So 15. That is 15 percent of the surface is burned. Okay, this is percent after 15 percent of the body surface is burned. Okay, here it is percent. Now, so what is fluid replacement? This is also known as fluid resuscitation. This is a medical practice of replenishing fluid loss due to bleeding, sweating, fluid shift, shift or other pathologic process. And fluid resuscitation is a treatment used to prevent burn shock and maintain circulatory volume. Dash ML of fluid would be given to a 70 kg patient with a 40% burn in the first 24 hour. How we can find this? This is done by the ringer lactated solution. So how we calculate initial 24 hour ringer's lactated solution 4 ml per kg per person burn for adult and 3 ml per kg person burn for children. So here this is a 70 kg patient, so that is not a child, but an adult. So 4 ml is 1%, 160 ml. So here we have how many? Uh, 160, uh, that is 4 into 40%. So here this is 4 into 40. 4 into 40 means it is 160. So 160 into 70 equal to 1100. So for the 4 ml, it is 1 person. If it is 40 person, we have to calculate 4 into 40, that is 160 ml. That, so for, that is for per kg. If it is 70 kg, we have to consider 160 into 70. So that is 11200. Also, we can just calculate 4 into kg. That is 70 into person, 40. So 4 into 70 into 40. That is also the answer is 11200. So 11200 ml of fluid should be given to a 70 kg patient with a 40 percent burn in the first 24 hours. So this is calculated by the ringer's lactated solution. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more updates. Thank you.